Hello and welcome to my YouTube. In this YouTube I'm going to show you how to play six classic Christmas carols on a Yamaha E463 keyboard. To play these songs the way I'm going to play them, you're going to need to download some custom styles for the E463 keyboard. What you're looking at is a screenshot of my online box where I have stored these styles. Now there's more than six, but you're going to need uh, you're going to need four of them, and I'll explain further in, in a little bit. Here is the URL, and I will put this in my comments so you can simply click on this and go right to it. So you will need to download four custom styles from my online box to play these songs as I will be playing them. The custom styles you download from my online box must be transferred onto a USB thumb drive and then stored in one of the 10 memory slots, which are numbered 236 through 245. Those are the numbers of the memory slots in the E463 keyboard. If you don't know how to do that, I've made a YouTube that shows you how to download styles off of the internet, transfer them into a thumb drive, and then store them in the 10 memory locations. So here is the URL of that YouTube, and I will also put this in my comments so that if you want to go and watch this, you can simply click on it. So let me tell you what the keyboard settings are for the six Christmas carols that I'm going to be playing on my E463. The first one is Good King Wenceslas, which goes all the way back to 1853. The style is going to be the built-in style number 162, which is called Celtic Dance. The main voice is 132, Tech Brass. I'll be using a split voice, which is 024, called a Purple Organ. And I'll also be using the arpeggio 039, which is called Super Arp. So these are the settings that I'm going to be using to play this song. Next, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This one's kind of new. This goes back to 1934. The style is one of my custom styles, and it's called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. The main voice I'll be using is number 103, which is a breathy tenor sax, and the dual voice is number 110, which is a sweet trombone. The third song is It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. This goes back to 1850. The style, once again, is one of my custom styles. It came upon the Midnight Clear.sty, which you'll have to download off of my online box. The main voice I'll be using is 090, which is a vocal ensemble. And I'll be using a dual voice, which is 073, which is slow violin strings, slow string. Next is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And this song first came out in 1949. Gene Autry, of course, made it famous. The style is, once again, a custom style that you'll have to download, put on a thumb drive, and load into your memory. The main voice is 015, which is called a DX Modern. And I use a dual voice, 018, a Clavinova. Next is Coventry Carol, which goes all the way back to 1607. The style is one of the custom styles called Silent Night. The main voice I'm using is 092, uh, a choir, and the dual voice is 089, another kind of a choir, 
and I'll be using a trio harmony, which is 002 under the harmony settings. Finally, Dona Nobis Pacum, which goes back to 1759, and that translates, Grant Us Peace. The style is the built-in style number 208, which is called a Christmas waltz. The main voice I'll be using is 070, which is strings, violin strings. I'll be turning on a dual voice partway through, and that is voice 092, OCT choir. And I'll be also turning on a harmony, and that harmony is 002, which is a trio. So that's the settings of the six songs as I will be playing them. Let's go to the E-463 and hear these six Christmas carols. <laughs> 